Good, good afternoon all. I'm 16 right now and a student of class 12 from the University of World School. Uh, today I would be talking about innovating for sustainable development. How we can innovate. Innovating for our mother earth, innovating for a better society and first of all innovating for us. So first of all I would request all of you to give a huge round of applause for these two images. Here we can see uh, a mother, a mother with a, uh, with a child, a mother who takes care of her child, a mother who works 24-7 to make home a better place, a, a comfortable place for a child to live in. And uh, what if I say that we all are having two mothers? Huh? I know that few of you, a few of you must be thinking that uh, what this foolish 16 year boy is talking to us. He is saying that we are having two mothers. Yes, I know that it's biologically impossible. But we are having the second mother is Mother Earth, who is providing resources for our first mother to take care of us. We all go to school, we pass out school, we go to college, we pass out college, we have a better placement, we do job, 30 lakhs, 12 lakhs per annum package. We buy 4 BHK flat, give it one, uh, one room to our mother, where four, two to three ACs are installed and she is comfortably sitting in a blanket and enjoying her life. But to a second mother, do you know where we have placed her? Here. Our second mother is here in garbage. Okay, now an audience question. So, in which earth you want to live in? Yeah, the right one or left one? You can raise your hands. Right one and left one. Okay. Thanks a lot. <laughs> So, we all have studied in our textbook, we have, we have been to education system, we are being taught that we should make our earth clean. We have studied that in our textbooks. But we are actually acting oppositely. We are only taking care of ourselves, earning money, buying a, uh, buying a Mercedes or a BMW, buying a 4 BHK flat and uh, living a comfortable life, enjoying weekends and uh, going abroad in uh, vacations. If I discuss about problems that are existing on Earth, they are basically pollution. We all know about that. Pollution is a major uh, problem on Earth. Second one is resources depletion. We all, okay, uh, suppose uh, a father is there, he gives his son a Lamborghini Glado. And uh, uh, when, uh, when resources are depleting day by day, so one day will come when there will be no petrol. So what's the use of that uh, Glado? He, 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 will, he will have to buy a Neelam cycle and he would have to go, go, with, uh, go on that to his office. And is there any solution for this problem? Is there any solution? Yes, it is. there is a solution. We all have read this solution, sustainable development in class 8, class 9, class 10, class 11, class 12 in science and SST books. Sustainable development, conserving and saving resources for future generations and using them, uh, using them in a wise manner. But, uh, According to me, it's a joke. It's a joke. Uh, is there any practical? Is there any practical thing that that can link the sustainable development to the real life situation? Is there any? Yes, there is. Uh, there is. That is innovation. Innovation is a practical thing that can link the sustainable development to the real life thing. What basically innovation is? Yep. Every every. This is a major question. What basically innovation is? Let's take an example. Suppose five guests are coming to your home, your mother has come a dal uh, for all of them. And uh, uh, your mother is standing on the gate and sh uh, suddenly she sees uh, uh, your friends are also coming. And uh, your mother then rushing to the kitchen and adding water to that dal. Even that is an innovation. It is an innovation to save respect, not conservation of respect. But uh, uh, that, 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 that is not related to real life situation. Real life, real life situation if we relate, innovation is something for the betterment of society, for the sustainable development, for the mother earth, and uh, last but not the least for earning money. Uh, sorry if I discuss about me and my brother. We, our first project was water purifier. Uh, wherein we were uh, purifying sustainably and earning money out of that. So we are removing water pollution. We are earning money out of that, and we are doing uh, that in a very efficient manner. That that is more than more, most efficient uh, project, uh, according uh, uh, rather than uh, to uh, current purification methods by talk about. So first of all, talking about the fresh water, about the 70% covered with uh, water. 
out of the 70%, only 3% fresh water is there. That is available for use of humans. Out of that 3%, only 1.3% is surface water that is available for use of humans. That uh, if, if someone needs these statistics, I, I, I can guarantee that uh, uh, someone would have gone mad. But yes, uh, it's, it's truth. Uh, again, an audience question. Can, uh, can you drink this? Can you drink this? Uh, we all know that uh, in this water, there are these rock stars popping, dancing, rapping. And the uh, here and they are uh, moving here and there in this water. So we can't drink this water because of these heavy metal bands, lead, chromium, arsenic, copper, and all all of them are there. And uh, so that's why we can't drink them. If we can't drink them, but uh, we all come from, we all are here, and uh, we all are from good families. We all are having water purifiers, tent, RO installed in our homes. But people living in remote areas are forced to drink this water. They are poor. They aren't having any other option. They are poor. They, they are unable to buy 10,000, 15,000 water purifier. And when, when they drink this water, they suffer from this. If I talk about lead, it can accumulate in fatty tissues of human body and cause cancer. If I talk about arsenic, it can cause discoloration of skin. We, we, can, we can't see these images, but uh, but through this, we can imagine the situation of the people who are living with these sort of diseases. We can imagine that, how they would be surviving. Now again, coming to the mother. Uh, a mother is someone who takes care of her child. A mother, whenever a child coming from a playground, uh, having an injury in his or her knee, a mother would be very much uh, shocked. She would, she would uh, get, get medicine and or apply, uh, give first aid to her child. But, uh, these people would also uh, are, will also be having mothers now. These, these, these are also having mothers. So we can imagine that what would be the situation of the status, mind status of a mother of these people. They, they, they would be very much, uh, they would be very much shocked. Uh, I, I think that uh, that that we we cannot we cannot even tell. Coming on to the next part, what basically we did? What what is water purifier? We are removing and extracting he these heavy metals, these water pollutants from the water by using locally available agricultural byproduct. What we can use? According to our research, we are using 143 families in plant kingdom to purify water. Not, not in a one go, but, but, uh, but uh, we have made the distribution by the continent availability. For example, uh, we use Selvinia molestia, Mechanium micranta, Bajra, Tagetus minuta. If I talk about Selvinia molestia, Mechanium micranta, Tagetus minuta, they are common weeds in uh, US continent, United States of America continent. And uh, basically, uh, these three weeds are the major problems of farmers there. And we are using these three weeds to purify water. And which is giving uh, the input is very low, but efficiency we talk about it is it is most than the current purification method. So taking an example of Bajra, how these uh, Bajra is able to purify water, how they are extracting, how we are how we are moving metals. As I said uh, that these heavy metal band is rocking, popping, dancing, and rapping inside the water. So when we are adding Bajra to it, first of all we are taking these plants in a powdered form. Why in powdered form? Because we only want those lignocellulosic and carboxylic groups of these metals to uh, of these plants to interact with the heavy metals. We don't want any or any other biomolecule to interact with the heavy metals. That's why we are using this in powder form. When we add bajra to it, it will basically it is having as I said lignocellulosic and carboxylic groups that will make those metals adhere to the surface and basically if I talk about phenomena, it is adsorption. A surface phenomena is happening and very weaker bond is formed. If we discuss about the plant structure, what would, what would be the structure, outline structure of uh, this working? Uh, to that big tank, you can see that a uh, lot of contaminated water we have collected. By just adding bajra powder to it, after a bit time, the biomass will settle down. We can take the purified water away. Now, earning money. This purified water will be having bajra powder. This would be having heavy metals and amount of water. We will treat this biomass with GCMS, gas chromatography mass spectrometry. That will differentiate all the material according to their molecular weight. So we would be getting bajra powder that we can solar heat and again use. And we would be getting metals that we can sell to market and earn money. 
this is the this was the 89 89th prototype that we prepared and this was a bit successful and efficient and uh, if i tell here you can see we collected the contaminated water believe us we didn't use any sort of electricity we didn't use anything we added just bajra to it and water became like that now problems we came across these problems are the major problems why researchers are lacking the number of researchers are lacking in india why people are more interested in uh, 30 lakhs per annum job why why aren't they are uh, interested in doing research work uh, doing something better for better for betterment of society lack of scientific principles even this happened uh, with uh, me and my brother also in 8th class when we started uh, early research work we were there asking uh, very uh, silly questions uh, that were out of the curriculum we were made to stand out of the outside of the class because you we are disturbing the class <laughs> now second point if i talk about its insufficient interaction in india a major problem is this that uh, everybody is a king everybody is a king he don't want to talk to anybody he only want to do what he like to do and uh, uh, if he listens uh, if he listen to somebody but uh, then also he would he wouldn't act accordingly because uh, in india that's uh, like a insult for the person third lack of confidence if these two uh, problems are existing scientific principles insufficient interaction then third lack of confidence would also be there because a person would, would also would obviously come into a dep depression state fourth no code of conduct for independent researcher a researcher qualified from a particular institution is ha having a particular having a total code of conduct he is given with amount of money to do research he is provided with a well equipment he is provided with labs but what about the independent researcher the students uh, from uh, class 8 or 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 a rickshaw wala who want to do something for the betterment of society for here i would discuss one more innovation i was reading the article of nif national innovation foundation you all must be knowing about that a man from jharkhand built something very unique uh, from two villages uh, uh, where the people there are used to go by uh, cycle and what he did uh, the roads aren't very well developed so the, they got a tire being punctured so what he did that uh, now for the uh, betterment of society for avoiding punctures we need to carry two red chilies with us just two red chilies so what we will do uh, if there is a puncture then we will open the nozzle we will add those seeds of red chilies into it and pump it up now from uh, we have there's a scientific principle that those seeds will move and stuck to the point where puncture is there we have prepared the puncture so this was the best innovation that uh, I, i came across and this proves that independent researchers aren't uh, aren't low than uh, the qualified researcher they must be researching in uh, with well equipment with with uh, well equipped uh, lab but uh, but don't understand uh, uh, but don't understand uh, estimate power of common man <laughs> last point by i talk about it i publishing and patenting cost we uh, okay patenting in india is a major problem you have to hire a lawyer it costs 60 to 1 lakh 60000 to 1 lakh rupees to hire a hire lawyer and after that if you file a complete patent application it costs 10000 so our government is expecting a 13 year old student to pay 1 lakh 10000 rupees for getting his idea being patented uh, uh, is it justice so this is this 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 is the major problem the biggest reason the great the great the great education system of india and uh, where education system of india we are set uh, to a particular boundary we are uh, we are given a curriculum read that learn that write that in your exams fetch marks and get into a good college then again repeat the procedure get into a good job then uh, then uh, there are also you would uh, you would have promotions and after 6 years retirement and uh, die peacefully now i'm coming on uh, to the next uh, slide uh, this is a comic picture that i really like uh, i was going through yesterday only in india uh, these uh, children are there who are coming and education system is extracting creativity discipline and intelligence out of them and dumping them, uh, that into a waste and do you know what what output is there the babus are created they are babus going to the college Uh, going to the office and uh, uh, they are uh, not ready to 
listen to anybody else. Me and my brother came to this, uh, came across this problem. We came up to our uh, organization that is NH Vipers about this. Very little has been made to the public, but uh, we are uh, we have helped uh, 25 to 30 students for getting their ideas, presenting their ideas, and getting uh, that being published or patented. Not uh, we didn't help uh, them by economically, by suggesting only. Now my last uh, uh, ending up with my quote. Uh, for the researchers, for innovators, my friends, innovation distinguishes between a leader and a follower. A quote by Steve Jobs. So, don't mess up. Enjoy research. Innovate. Thank you.